Hello Facebook Ads people, I'm Konstantinos and today we're going to talk about value rules. Are you going to use them or not? First of all, sorry for the clickbait. No, you cannot target rich people. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. You used to be able to target them back in the past but you cannot target them anymore. Uh, let's go now and let's learn what are the value rules because they are a very good setting and how you can use them. One thing that amazes me is that Meta is trying to take more and more things away from us in terms of control. And then I'm seeing the new changes on the new advantage sales campaigns that we have again the check boxes if we want to expand or not the audience and uh, we have also the value rules which is giving us more control in how we're going to bid and uh, i'm feeling like i'm more empowered while meta is trying to automate everything i'm more empowered and i have more control into the bidding or the targeting that i'm going to do let's go into my pc let me show you the value rules which is a new setting fairly new setting and uh, let's see if i'm going to use it or if you're going to use Use it it's up to you i have done my tests sometimes it's working sometimes it's not it's not something super concrete but for sure it's another tool in our hands and we need to know it and uh, if we're desperate or if we're doing really well we have to test it and see if it's working for us also hi guys i would like to interrupt this video in order to talk to you about my facebook ads course it took me six months of video editing everything and three months of video shooting and because of that, I have created the best Facebook ad course in the world. Inside, you're going to find super advanced information, but information also for beginners. It takes you by the hand in order to teach you how to do Facebook ads from the beginner level to super advanced level. It has inside Loom videos from cost caps, speed caps, Loom videos from CBO, ASC optimization. It has chosen five sessions, inner circle sessions, and it has a lot of theory with whiteboard, also strategies that are working all of these years, things that I have developed developed, things that I know that they're working because I have spent millions and millions on the platform. Currently, I'm spending between 5 and 10 million every month, sometimes it's even more, across 30 accounts and I have access to many, many more. So I know what is currently working and all the latest trends and this is what I'm doing inside the course. I'm showing you live ad accounts with real spend and what is working right now. And if you want, you can click the link below, you can go and you can check some videos that I have open free for you so that you can check if you like the course or not and decide if you want to buy it or not. I will see you there. So first of all, let me clarify that the value rules is something that you cannot find in all other accounts. I don't know if they're going to release it or not later to all other accounts, if it's in beta, but for sure it's a very good tool, especially I wish I had it in more other accounts that they were problematic. Uh, so that they can test things. Let me show you the, the way of thinking and the process because you have two options over here. Either you're going to do it with uh, the normal campaign uh, style and you're going to expand with the suggestion button or you're going to do it with value rules. I will explain in a little bit, it will make sense, believe me. So if we break down the results, let's first find some things that make sense over here, okay? So the age. We can see that in all the campaigns over here, 35 to 44 is where it's spending the most. Um, we have 35.44, 35.44, we can see that it's spending the most over here. Now, is it having the best results on 35.44? Over here it looks like yes. Over here we're having better results on 45.54, uh, but a little bit better. We don't see any big uh, change on the results, for example, 35.44 again. So here on the age, we are fine on this account. We're not seeing a big difference, for example, okay? Like this, for example, if we have seen that 5564, for example, even if it was spending 500 in each campaign, it was having five rows, maybe it, it would make sense to use the value rules there. Let's check a little bit the gender, for example, okay? So that we can see. If we come here, let's check uh, over here with demographics. Let's check the gender and let's see where we are having more spent and results. So we can see that over here, female is having higher ROAS, female is having higher ROAS, female is having lower ROAS here, but male are always spending more as we can see, male are spending more, male are spending more, female. So here we have an assumption that maybe if we push a little bit more spent, uh, maybe we will get higher ROAS uh, if we put a little bit more spend on the value rules over here. Okay, so this is another thing that uh, we can uh, check. Another thing that we can see, let me also keep notes on that, just a second. Okay, let's continue with our breakdown. Uh, we can uh, do, uh, as far as I have seen, 
Uh, we can do also placements, uh, which is a new thing, and location. We're not going to do location over here, uh, but we can do placements. And uh, over here, if we break down the results, uh, let's see the placements, for example, and see where we're getting better results. We have Facebook feed, most of the spend. We have Instagram feed. Uh, we don't see any big difference in terms of rows somewhere. Let's go to the other Facebook feed, Instagram feed. Okay, let's see. Facebook feed, Facebook Reels, for example. You might be want to test something more in a placement or not. Okay, so this is the first step. You are trying to do a breakdown and you're trying to find something that makes sense for you to spend more over there. Meta doesn't do it on its own, so you are going to be able to force them to do so. Okay, so on the placements, you don't have this option but uh, you're having this option of doing it let's say that you're creating one campaign the sales campaign over here and uh, we're coming over here let's rem the catalog is not on uh, and let's go immediately to show you let's go for website only just give me a second to set everything up we always do only purchase event and we are going to come here with the new settings that we are having. We can do further limit and we're going to be able to do options like this. For example, if we see that we're having what we have seen before, uh, 35, uh, 44, 35 to 44. We don't want to limit it, but we can start as a suggestion with 3544 because we're breaking down the results and we see that it's working. And then we can use a suggestion to go to the full expansion. The same thing can happen with this. We start with men and we use expansion to women. Sometimes on men, we might don't want to expand it, but for sure it can work like this. So this is the one way that you can do it. But can you change, for example, just push only one placement? No. This is where the value rules are coming and the value rules are only here, okay? Again, you're not going to be able to see it on all, our, on all our accounts. Here, you have to create it first. Let me show you where you can find it. Either you click here, create rule, or if you go to the advertisement settings, you're going to see them here on the top. If we click over here, we can see that we can create a rule and it says, this is your preferred audiences using value rules, increase your bid on audiences that are worth more to your business. For example, you can uh, bid more for Android users. Or you have found, for example, that the ages of um, uh, 55, 65 plus, they are uh, staying longer into your subscription model and you want to get more new customers that they're in this age. Uh, or you have seen that you want to target more men because they are having higher AOV, for example. Things like that. Of course, this is not something that is going to just by miracle make you profitable. I hope it's going to, okay? I'm, I'm not against that, but uh, for sure it's something that it can enhance a little bit um, the analysis that you have done, okay? It's better for you to use it based on results that you, that you are seeing from the breakdown and not based on speculations that you have in your mind, for example, that in New York they know me so they buy more of my product, for example, okay? Here you can press I understand that the cost per result may increase and stuff, of course, because you are bidding specific, the CPM could increase also the cost per result. And we are having the different options over here. We have the age. So if we have, for example, from the previous example, if we have, let's say, 3544 working very well, we can uh, start over there on the bottom with the expansion. It can expand to all, but it can bid or we can have it full completely open. And uh, we can say that I'm seeing that, for example, you are having some very good results on 65 plus when I'm breaking down, but you're not spending enough. So I'm seeing, for example, five ROAS on 65 plus, but you're spending only 500 while you have spent 4K on the 3544 that's working better. You can choose the age. To my experience, over here, for example, the 65 plus in our example, to my experience, what is working better over here is more than 80%. So I would do over here 80%. If you do 20%, 30%, 50%, all of these are not working really well. Okay, you can name it um, 65 plus plus 80%, something like that, okay? And uh, you can create it. You can have up to 10 rules over here created. Uh, over here, uh, define your preferred audiences using up to two criteria. You can do two two of them at the same time, okay? So a lot of times I like to do also the gender. So you can do, for example, that uh, over here you have seen that um, in the women you're getting better rows. Uh, 
uh, but it's spending only on men. Maybe I can do only one campaign, for example. Not in, these are things that you're not going to abuse across uh, your ad account and use them a lot. You're going to use it here and there. It's like the value rule, for example, on the uh, that we're trying to have better uh, AOV uh, by just uh, optimizing for not for maximum number of conversions but for value and uh, you can have better AOV like this. You can do for example just one campaign targeting only on women okay or if your pixel is super trained to men maybe you can do this in order for you to train it for a new line of products that you have for women. It has so many uses if you think of it if you don't abuse it of course uh, that um, I think that it's going to help a lot of companies. Uh, and this is why I told you in the beginning that it's crazy that Meta is giving us this freedom over here. So you can do this or you can do only one or two uh, and then you're pressing next and you're going to create it and you're going to be able to uh, see it there. Okay, so this one, for example, it will mean plus uh, women uh, 80% again. Okay, of course, the percentage it has to be for both of those. Okay, so you press next, you uh, set the rule name and stuff, and that's it. Okay, uh, by the way, it has the rule name also here, but doesn't get it later. But anyway, okay, so you create it over here. I don't want to create it yet because I want to create another video and show how it looks uh, empty. Another thing which I need to uh, say, let's go back, for example, to our campaigns. Also here, what we're going to be able to see is that uh, you can create the rule uh, and you're having some more options. Um, let's create this option over here. You have uh, the, uh, this is the other way of doing it through the campaign. You have the AZ gender. Uh, if you wanna do iOS or Android, for example, you're, you're selling a power bank uh, not a power bank, yeah, even a power bank for uh, Android, okay? Then you do location. I have seen a lot of times companies saying that uh, we do, for example, sell uh, in the whole United States, but we are very well known in New York, for example, and you can use it there uh, for specific thing. And also placements. It's actually very good because the previous video from that, it's a video that we have analyzed in very big spends where uh, we're seeing most money being spent and um, how it's working with younger audiences, moms, um, older people and stuff, uh, which are the placements that they are working. Over here, without not using automatic, with using automatic placements, which we know that you're not getting good results if you don't, you can focus in a specific placement um, if you are seeing that from your breakdowns that you're getting very good draws but not enough spent. This is how you can use that. And the placement and the location, the location you can do use with the targeting below on the new advanced sales campaigns um, along with the gender and the age. But the mobile operation system and the placement are two things uh, and the location and the placement are two things that you are not going to be able to touch from any other setting. So this thing is actually very important. When it started, it didn't have the location and the placement. These are two new features over here. And uh, it had only on the beginning the age, the gender and the mobile operating uh, system. So more options. We can advertise more stuff. If somebody was going to come right now and tell me that uh, I want to run something only for Android devices, I would feel a little bit uncomfortable with the settings that we had until now. Now with this one, you are having better chances of having something uh, working. So break down your results. Try to find things that you think that make sense for you to spend a little bit more. Don't abuse this. Use more than 80% for sure and try to find some good campaigns that are going to uh, give you some extra revenue and some extra results uh, without uh, ruining uh, your uh, other campaigns. It's not something that you should use in all of your campaigns, but it's something that you can use once in a while so that you can get some uh, good campaigns going if you're breaking down the results and you see something consistently coming up but not uh, getting uh, spend. That's all I had about this. For sure, it's a very nice setting. I hope it's going to go into more ad accounts because I want to test the out of it. Use them. Do your own tests. Let me know in the comments if it has worked for you, if it had saved your ad account, for example, if it's the only thing that's working on your account, or if it's something 
else that is working in your account. Don't forget that if you want to know more about Facebook ads and more advanced techniques and more settings that they're going to help you in specific situations or they're going to help you scale, you can check my course where everything is inside and you can see below all the reviews from the people that they have completed it. Super advanced, but also beginner stuff inside. People love it and thank you very much for actually liking it so much and uh, I will try to keep it updated um, always with new stuff coming like the value rules. If the value rules, for example, prove and we find the technique which is working with them, of course, it's going to be added also on the course. Don't forget that I have also my mentorship programs. They're pretty full right now because it's Q4. We can discuss your case individually, maybe, if you want. You can check below all the people that they have completed and what they have to say about these programs. But uh, until we meet again, guys, be creative and be consistent.